your first alert forecast with meteorologist Laura Hartman, only on Fox 47 News at 10. Well, when you said we get hit by random pockets of rain, you really weren't kidding. It was fine. One minute, I let Riley outside. Next thing you know, torrential downpour. Poor Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Bet he wasn't happy. Yeah. yeah, we've had a lot of reports of just minor flooding across Lansing, not only Lansing, in county areas as well. And take a look at what you can do if you are faced with some of these roads. Just six inches of fast moving water can knock you off your feet, 12 inches for vehicles. So the big saying is remember, turn around, don't drown. Of course, you don't want to be driving through that water, especially if you're not sure just how deep it is. And with the rain amounts that we got today, we had a lot of those issues of the water sitting right over the roads. Capital City Airport measured 2.75 inches of rain today. 2.51 of those inches were just this afternoon alone. And several places getting similar readings between 2 to 3 inches, especially where they had a lot of that water building up. We're not done with the showers just yet. There are a couple still around, and we're going to have to watch these just rain themselves out. Out, then we're going to start to see more dry weather appearing. But we're not done with the showers and storms this week. We still have another round coming. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But take a look at temperatures cooling down into the mid 60s, and we're not going to go much farther than this. Currently 66 in Lansing, 68 in Jackson, 70 in Hillsdale, and those temperatures dropping another couple of degrees or so. Our local dew points, though, are in those mid 60s, and when they're this warm, it feels so muggy outside. This is a number that's going to stay right around where it is for the next about 24 hours or so, at least until that second round of storms comes through. You can expect those on Thursday evening. With those PM storms, we have muggy weather holding around, and we don't expect a lot of storms, but still the yellow bar, just in case you happen to be outdoors in one of those, you'll have to watch the radar. Now, Friday, much better because we're on the other side of that cold front, which means sunshine is back, green weather ahead, and pleasant as well. Same thing for Saturday, sunshine and uh, Warming up as well, upper 70s for those forecast temperatures. Great day to go outside and run. I know there are a lot of runs going around uh, this Saturday in mid Michigan. Taking a look at your future track, this low that we had earlier tonight is going on through, and the rest of the night, or just about, should be mostly dry. We're not going to see many more showers. Thursday morning will be dry. We start off with a couple clouds, but we'll see a temporary sunshine coming out for the or late morning and then early afternoon time periods. Even through 6 o'clock, a lot of us are still looking at sunshine, but then our second round, our front comes on through, and even though this model doesn't put a lot of showers or storms, we're still expecting a a few along that line. So be prepared for them about 6 to maybe 10 o'clock at night, and then we'll be done drying out for Friday, and the sunshine comes back. Cooler temperatures for Friday, too. We're only going to top off in those low 70s. Thursday, 80 degrees and very muggy outside, but Friday, 72 and much cooler. Sunday and Monday, back to those 80s, and the humidity increases as well. So just temporary relief from that for this weekend. 62 for tonight, and showers and storms just about done. Just be careful with some of those rain covered roads 80 degrees for tomorrow storms in the evening and humid as well we start to get rid of the humidity friday and we'll see a saturday a very comfortable day as well sundays when that humidity starts to ramp up a little bit more but still a great day for fathers i'm sure a lot of them will want to hit the pool or maybe that'll just be the kids dragging them out there i'm not <laughs> sure but uh, it looks great you might as well get it in this weekend because monday through wednesday looks to be stormy all through those three days. Well, the pool isn't that bad. It's the, the lakes that are still a little bit chilly. The lakes are a little chilly, <laughs> but hey, those 80s are really going to help them out. I think one of these weekends we'll be able to swim comfortably in them. Might take a couple more weeks, though. I hope you're right. All right, Laura, thank you. Mm -hmm.